Some time back we made a change from the Lippert entry steps to the torque lift glow step revolution uprising. Now, when we made that change, I did a video talking about the reasons why we wanted to make a switch. In case you missed that video, I'll put a link to it right up here. You can go check it out. Also in that video, I made mention that once we had a chance to try these steps out for a while, I'd come back and do a review. Well, since that time, we have camped in 59 different locations. We've stopped at more truck stops, rest areas, and white stops in the road than I can even count. And we've gone up and down these steps literally thousands of times. So I figured this would be a good time to come back and talk about them. Before I get started though, let me ask you, if you enjoyed this video at all, if you consider giving us a thumbs up, maybe hitting that subscribe button, leaving a comment, those little things may not seem like it, but they help our channel immensely. All right, let's get going. So the first thing I want to do is give you a close-up look at some of the construction of these steps. So take a look. So check out some of the attention to detail. Look at the front edges of the steps where they have the nice texturing so you don't have any slipping. They have these glowing little stickers right here. Now trust me, you're not going to read a book by those at all, but they do show, show up at nighttime a little bit to help you out. The steps have good texture on top. You're not going to slip on those. Take a look at this accordion design. It's doubled up to make it nice and sturdy. So even here, if you take a look at under the pads, they put rubber bumpers, so it won't mar up any concrete. That's a nice little touch. Now in that previous video, I made mention of these stops here that this nylon bushing had to push past when we're putting these steps back in. Now, these have been in and out, I don't know, more than a couple hundred times. And so far, there is absolutely no wear on these or these nylon fittings right here. So I don't think that that will ever cause us an issue. If it does, it would be these rubber stoppers. And there's a nut on the other side. I'm pretty sure I could just replace those for a buck or two, no big deal. Anyway, so far, no issues. One reason we wanted to go away from the more ride steps was that more than once we would get set up in a spot, put the steps down, and then find out we couldn't shut the entry door. The reason for that is, even if we put the levelers in all the way so that the steps were down as far as they could be, the door would still hit the top step. We just couldn't shut the door. So it's not really a huge deal, but what we'd have to do is either, if we're still hooked up to the truck, we'd have to move the RV, put some leveling pads underneath the tires, and then pull the RV up on top of it to give the RV some more height. More than once, we didn't check it while we were still hooked up, and I'd have to just raise the coach up with the jacks, sometimes even suspending the tires, which I don't like to do, and then that way it would give us room to shut the door over the steps. It's, again, it's not a huge deal, we had that happen more than once. Even in a spot like this, for example, if our door would have been up over this concrete pad, we would not have been able to shut the door over the more right steps unless we raised the coach up. Just one of those things you didn't want to deal with. And we have now not had to do that one single time. 59 different camp spots. We have never had to worry about not getting our entry door shut. Now, those of you that have the more right steps, I'd bet you a dollar you've had that happen to you. And for those of you that have the more right steps and have not had it happen yet, I will bet you two dollars that it will eventually happen to you. Another reason we wanted to move away from the more right steps is that when those steps were deployed, the end of the step was roughly 53 inches out away from the coach. Just like these steps are roughly 52 inches away from the side of the coach, the more right steps were 53 inches, and you had no way to change that. So say, for example, if we were in a rest area and we wanted to put the steps down, or if we were in a truck stop, most of the time when we put the steps down, those steps would go into the next parking lane. And we all know how close trucks can park to you if you're in a rest area or in a truck stop. We just never felt secure with that. Or maybe you park your RV in a storage unit. Maybe it has walls. Maybe it has other RVs that park real close to you. Maybe just by putting that step down and hit the RV next to you. With this step, we have an option. If I have to put the steps in closer to avoid that, it's a simple thing. So right now, we have all five steps extended. This is as far out as these steps will go. But if we want to get closer, simply like that, move this in. Now you'll see they're pretty good, there's a pretty good angle of these steps. But all I have to do is 
is extend these legs. And there you go. Look how much closer I am to the coach instead of being 53 inches out. I'm gonna get tape measure in a minute and show you some of these measurements. But, and you'll notice this ground slopes. It was as easy as pushing those buttons and moving those extensions to get things nice and level. And then here you go. It's a little steeper, but it's easy to get in the coach. And then if you want to put it back out, simple as that. Now we know we have to level this again. And there we are, all set back up. Let me get a tape measure. All right, so let's take a look. I have a tape measure down here right now. So these steps are extended as far as they will go. Let's take a look. Now the, that end of the tape measure is about even with the side of the coach. So right now, fully extended, we're about 52 inches. Now let me do some adjustments. Let me put these steps in and you can take a look how close we can get to the coach. Hang on. All right, so now I've moved the steps in I have extended the legs about as far as I can. You'll notice there's a slight slope to the step still, but still very easily to use. And look at this. Now we're about 25 inches away from the side of the coach. Even our door comes out farther if we close the door than the steps. So if you're in a storage unit, something like that, the door is gonna be your limiting factor, not the steps. And even at that angle, they're easy to get up and down, I'll show you. No problem. Now there is a little bit more bounce in these steps compared to the Lippert's. The Lippert steps would not move an inch. Where there's a little bit of movement in these steps. Let me show you me going up and down these steps. Now I'm north of 200 pounds, I'm probably 220, 225 right now gives you an idea when I go up and down these steps. Take a look, you'll see the movement. There's no real way to get around some movement with this design to give you the flexibility that these steps give you. To me, it's well worth the little bit of movement we have in these steps to have that flexibility. Never once have we felt uneasy going up and down these steps at all. Now, one difference between these steps and the Lippert's are the levelers right here. These levelers are outside like this, and the Lippert's had a sleeve that the leveling legs slid up and down inside. So you had to pull a pin, slide the legs up or down inside that sleeve. Over time, there could be some grip buildup inside that sleeve, which made it a little bit harder to move it inside, which was not a big deal. And then you had to get those holes lined up just right to put the pin through a hole and then a second hole to make those leveling legs stay in place. Not a big deal, but what I do like about these is it's just a push button. You push the button, and they slide up and down and never once have had anything build up inside like grit to make these uneasy to move. But again, we've had these a little over a year, right out of a year, so maybe over time that will change. If it does, I'll come back and report on that too. Now, one thing some people have brought up is that because these leveling legs are outside like that, they think this could be a trip hazard. Again, we have been up and down these steps literally thousands of times without exaggeration and not once have we ever tripped on those. So once you figure out that they're there, you just maneuver around them. 
We've had a lot of guests come up and down these steps as well, and no one has ever come close to tripping on these. I guess if you're worried about it, you could take something like maybe a colored noodle of some sort and stick it on here for visibility. Maybe get some paint and paint it a orange or something like that. That would work as well. But for us, we have never had an issue, so this is just fine for us. Another thing people have mentioned is sometimes people mention it without even going up and down the steps. They look at it from afar and they say, boy, those steps look steep and they look unsafe. And I ask them why, they say, well, they look like it. I think part of it might be is that the Lippert steps, this is all a, a solid frame, right? It just looks solid. These is more airy. So I kind of think it's like crossing over a bridge. If the bridge has a solid surface, you walk right over it. The minute you put a grate on there that you can see through down to the river or the stream, people feel a little bit less easy walking over it, right? It's kind of a, it's kind of a mind thing. And I think that's what people think about. When they look at this, it looks light and airy compared to the Lippert that has a solid frame and it just seems more beefy from appearance wise. Again, some of the people that made that comment have never even gone up and down these steps. So they make that comment unjustified, but I get it. And trust me, the first time we ever trip over these, I'll be putting something on here to make them more visible. But again, we've never had an issue. I don't think we ever will. So I guess the answer is to those of you that asked us if we still like these steps, the answer is yes. We're very happy that we made the change. These have fit our lifestyle perfectly. I guess if we were the kind of camper that stayed in one spot forever and we always had a nice level place to camp, we would never have switched from the Lippert steps. There was nothing wrong with those Lippert steps. For, for our lifestyle and our form of camping, these give us more flexibility and we're very, very happy we made the change. All right, there you go. I fulfilled my promise. I told you in that last video I'd come back and do a review on these after a while. And there you have it. So once again, if you enjoyed this video, how about a thumbs up? Consider hitting that subscribe button. Maybe hit that notification bell. As always, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.